now the first unit of discrete mathematics is logic and mathematical induction for computer science students this uh, unit is very impositive now the next part is tautology contradiction and contingency now see what is the definition of tautology a compound proposition that is always true no matter what the truth values of the propositional variables that occur in it it's called a tautology or in general a compound proposition is a tautology if it contains only t in the last column of its truth table it is denoted by bold capital t now what is contradiction a compound proposition that is always false no matter what the truth values of the propositional variables that occur in it is called a contradiction or in general a compound proposition is a contradiction if it contains only a in the last column of its truth table it is denoted by bold capital a now what is contingency a compound proposition that is neither a tautology nor a contradiction is called a contingency it means in the last column of truth table there are some t now here the question is verify whether the following statements are tautologies contradictions or neither now whenever we have to check certain statement is a tautology contradiction or neither we have to prepare the truth table we have seen how to prepare the truth table so the only thing is that observe what are the truth values in the last column so if all are true then it is a tautology if all are false then it is contradiction and if there are some t and some f then it is contingency means neither tautology nor contradiction so the first statement is p and q and negation p so here we have prepared the truth table so as there are two variables there are four rows and the columns are p q negation p p and q and last is p and q negation p now after preparing the truth table we are getting in the last column all false values so this is a contradiction so given statement is a contradiction now second is p implies q by implication negation p implication q again there are two variables so there will be four rows in the truth table so after preparing the truth table we are getting in the last column tf tf so there are some t values and there are some false values so this is neither tautology nor contradiction but it is a contingency now the third is t implies q and negation q implication negation p again we prepare the truth table as we have seen earlier so i am not repeating that part just observe the truth values in the last column now all are true hence the given statement or proposition is a tautology so the basic part is preparation of truth table so if you know how to prepare truth table then only you can solve this question now the next is logical equivalence the compound propositions p containing p q and so on variables and another statement q containing p q and so on are said to be logically equivalent if p by implication q is a tautology that is p and q have the same truth values for all possible cases because by implication is a tautology it means we are getting all true values in the last column but by implication is true only when p and q both have same truth value that means p and q these two columns have same truth values then only we get that by implication as tautology it means the statements p and q are logically equivalent now what is the notation for logically equivalent statement so p these three lines and q that indicates that p and q are logically equivalent now here the question is show that the negation of p implication q is logically equivalent to p and 
negation q so one statement is negation of p implication q another is p and negation q so we prepare the truth table in which one column is for this part and one column is for this part so the truth values in both the columns are same that means both the columns are identical then definitely in by implication we get all two values it means it is a tautology and so we can say that these two are logically equivalent now we prepare truth table so p q then p implies q then negation of that p implies q then we need negation q p and negation q so after preparing the table see the column for negation p implication q and p and negation q so they are identical in both columns we are getting ft ff in the same order it means if you consider their by implication it contains all t that means it is tautology but that is not required to write just observe these two columns they are identical it means the given statements are logically equivalent now the next is p or q and r and second is p or q and p or r these are logically equivalent so this is the distributive law of disjunction over conjunction now as there are three variables p q r the truth table contains eight rows now we prepare the columns as p q r then q and r p disjunction q and r then for these statements p or q p or r and then their conjunction now prepare the truth table as we have studied earlier now this is the column of p or q and r this is the column for p or q and p or r now check whether they are identical or not yes in both the columns first five values are t and last three values are f means they are exactly same they are identical so we can say that these two statements are logically equivalent now similarly we can show that p and q or r and p and q or p and r are logically equivalent this is called as the distributive law of conjunction over disjunction now similar to previous example by preparing the truth table we can say that these two statements are logically equivalent now the next is prove the following equivalence using truth table p implication q is logically equivalent to negation q implies negation p so this is implication and this is nothing but it's contrapositive so this logical equivalence is nothing but an implication is logically equivalent to its contrapositive so again we prepare truth table for p implication q and one column for negation q implication negation p observe that these two columns are identical so p implication q is logically equivalent to negation q implication negation p now the next is very important so question can be asked as state and prove de morgan's laws now in school uh, we have studied de morgan's laws in set theory that is a union b packet complement is a complement intersection b complement and similarly another law for intersection so in that case union is replaced by intersection and we take complement of each set similar to that there are de morgan's laws in logic also let p and q be two propositions then de morgan's laws are first negation of p and q is logically equivalent to negation p or negation q so here conjunction is replaced by disjunction and we are taking negation of every variable separately second law is negation of p or q is logically equivalent to negation p 
and negation q so negation of each statement separately and or is replaced by and so to prove these laws again we are using method of truth table so for first we have prepared the truth table containing p q p and q negation p and q negation p negation q negation p or negation q now here this is the column of negation p and q which is f 3 times t and same is for negation p or negation q so these two columns are identical it means they are logically equivalent now similar to first law this is the table for negation of p or q and negation p and negation q so one column is for negation p or q and one column for negation p and negation q and these two columns are identical so negation of p or q is logically equivalent to negation p and negation q so these are de morgan's laws which are very important in logic now these are some standard equivalent statements in logic now the first is negation of negation p is logically equivalent to p which is known as double negation law as there are two negations now second is p or p is logically equivalent to p and p and p is logically equivalent to p which is adam potent laws now one can verify all these laws by using truth table now third is p or q logically equivalent to q or p and similarly for conjunction now next is associative law p or q or r is logically equivalent to p or q or r and same way for conjunction now next is distributive laws that we have seen already then de morgan's laws then what is absorption law p or p and q is logically equivalent to p so here p and q get absorbed so this is absorption law same way p and p or q is logically equivalent to p so again here p or q get absorbed then identity laws that is p and p is logically equivalent to p p or f is logically equivalent to p then this t is nothing but tautology all true values and this f is nothing but contradiction all f values and last is negation laws p and negation p is logically equivalent to f p or negation p is logically 